Hey everybody, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Hope you guys had a great week. Um, as we wrap up the week, I wanted to talk about something a little different this week on the podcast slash vlog. Um, on this week's episode, I'm going to be talking a little bit about overlanding resources. What I mean by that is, you know, I kind of, I, by no means have I ever said, hey, I'm a professional overlander, right? Like I'm just a guy like the rest of the rest of us. Um, but I enjoy overlanding. I do a lot of YouTube watching. I do a lot of reading. I'm on a lot of forums. There's a lot of different Facebook groups and things like that where you can learn a lot of great information. So on this episode, I just kind of wanted to chat through that. I'm going to do it in a few sections. I'm going to kind of start with Facebook. I'm going to move on to different websites that are valuable. And then from there, I'm going to touch on YouTube and then sort of summarize the whole thing. So if you want to learn more about that, stay tuned. everybody. So as I mentioned, um, on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about overlanding resources. Um, again, I've been overlanding personally for about three, four years now. Um, and, you know, whether, again, we can, can get into that big, long, convoluted conversation of is it overlanding? Is it car camping? Are you just, you know, a lot of the times, if I take 20 trips a year, I would say probably 10 or 15 of those trips are just camping trips, right? Where I'll just go to, you know, the nearest national forest and I'll spend the night, go camping. I will have, you know, all the stuff in my car. I will be relying on my vehicle to some degree. Um, but I only, you know, if I'm lucky, I might get one or two really good trips, you know, out of state, you know, eight to 12 hours away where I really get to sort of push the limits and, and be more reliant on the truck. Um, but again, it's about the desire, right? Like, so again, not diving too far into the whole what is an overlander, but my opinion on all that is just if you're interested in it then you're overlanding and if you really like the stuff then you know it's helpful i feel like to have sort of a laundry list of you know great content creators great websites great facebook groups things like that where you can get some good information have some good conversations and people are supportive right um in general folks that do overlanding in my experience have been extremely welcoming and very you know community-based and willing to do anything they can to help you you know if you're ever stuck or you know anything like that i've seen in my facebook groups i haven't been stuck myself um but i've seen folks that get stuck out in the middle of a national forest and they have enough signal or they walk to some place where they have signal and they're like hey i'm at coordinates blah 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 can someone come and help me and then people that don't even know them will drop everything and drive out there and help them get themselves unstuck um so again over overall i think overlanding folks are, are extremely generous helpful folks um, but so on this episode, like I mentioned, I kind of wanted to run through some of the resources that I personally have found to be really good from a content standpoint, from a quality standpoint, from a consistency standpoint. Um, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I, for the, at least the last three or four months, I have consistently put out two episodes a week, right? A, sort of a gear review, a shorter gear review, and then a once a week podcast slash vlog. Um, and that's hard. Like, I'm not going to lie. There are some weeks where I'm scrabbling it together. Like today right now on this podcast, it is 930 where I'm at PM. I have to still shoot all this, edit it, cut it into video, cut it into audio, separate it out, upload it, write the description, put the tags in. There's just, there's a ton of work that goes into it, right? And sometimes it's easier than other times. So to all the folks that I'm going to mention on this video, again, these are not everybody. These are just the ones that popped up to my head when I was kind of writing the script for this uh, podcast today. Um, so these ones will be helpful, but again, if you're not on the list, don't feel bad. If you guys have other suggestions, please post up down in the comments below so that everybody can kind of get, you know, some more suggestions. Um, and then as I mentioned, I'm going to put links to all these, you know, websites, Facebook groups, and YouTube channels down below in the comments. Um, and if there are some, there are some that I, I may not have time to mention on this too. I will also put those in the description too. So for the ultimate sort of laundry list of all the, you know, the must have overlanding, groups, websites, Facebook, you know, YouTube channels, go down to the description, you'll get all that info there. So again, let's get started now with Facebook. So when I started, you know, using Facebook for overlanding, it was right at the beginning of my journey into overlanding, if you will. So I didn't really know a whole lot. I had seen a couple of videos pop up. I had some friends that went off-roading, but not really overlanding. They just like to take their vehicles and go to off-road parks, um, which I was interested in too. Um, but so where I kind of started was like local Facebook groups. So I literally went to Facebook and I typed in overlanding 
and then I tried like overlanding comma Indiana or I tried, you know, overlanding and then searched for, you know, looked at the locations that are listed on there and tried to find something local. Um, another idea, and this kind of ties websites and Facebook together, but if you go to forums like an overland bound or something like that, um, or an expedition portal, um, they will a lot of the times have regions broken out in there where you can kind of get introduced to people and meet people. But in there, a lot of the times, they will have links to local groups, local, local websites, things like that. Um, so that's kind of where I started and where I would recommend starting is go to Facebook, look up overlanding, look up Indiana overlanding, look up Florida overlanding, California overlanding, wherever you are. Um, just kind of search to see if you can find a local group. I'm near Kentucky and I really want to go on the Kentucky Adventure Trail in the next year or so. So I joined a Kentucky Adventure Trail group. And now I get to talk to all these folks from Kentucky that know the trail. I get to see other people taking trips. I get to take notes on where they're going. And I'm kind of starting to build my plan for when I want to go there. Um, so that's a good suggestion, I think, first. If you're local in my area, if you're Midwest, um, you know, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Kentucky, um, anywhere around me, there's a good group called Midwest Overlanders. I want to say they're a little over 4,000 members now, so it's growing really fast. And I know the, the guy that started that, his name's Cody. He's a nice guy. I've been on a couple trips with him. He, we've had a lot of fun. Um, but he, he has a great group there. There's a lot of conversation. I mean, there's a lot of memes. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's just kind of a fun place to hang out. So that's definitely one for local folks, Midwest folks. Another one is Indiana Overlanders. A guy named Andy runs that. And again, another good dude. I, the West Virginia trip I just went on was with Cody and him and then another guy named Jimmy. Um, but that's another good group. A little bit smaller than Midwest Overlanders, but still some good, you know, focused content on there to Midwest, specifically Indiana type overlanding. Um, as I mentioned, there's that Kentucky Adventure Trail. So again, in the Midwest, that's a good one, especially if you want to get down there and, and check that out. Because from what I see, that's about the most aggressive sort of more trail type overlanding you can do around here. It's kind of down around the cat, Kentucky Adventure Trail. Um, then there's some more general ones, right? So um, another suggestion that I have is definitely check out vehicle specific groups. So I am a part of probably six to eight different Xterra groups. Um, I'm sure that there are a million Jeep groups. You know, I'm sure there are a million Toyota 4Runner, uh, you know, Land Rover, Land Cruiser, whatever, you know, all those Toyota sites. I'm sure there are a ton of all those. But if you need specific information on your vehicle, those are great places to go. If you ever have questions about lifts or, you know, people have asked it a million times, make sure you use that search button so you don't get, you know, flamed. Um, but definitely look for vehicle specific type groups too on Facebook and get in those because then you'll see the posts, you'll learn from them, you'll be able to ask questions about your vehicle and things like that, modifications, other people that go over landing. And it's also a good way just to meet people that are similar to you that have similar vehicles and then maybe form a group if you want to go on a trip. Um, and then lastly, there's a really sort of big one. I think it's almost a 10,000-ish members as of the making of this video, but it's called Overlanding USA. So it's just very general. Everyone from all over the U.S., I'm sure there are people from other countries and stuff in there too, but it's a huge group and it's growing very quickly. And I've had great engagements in there. I've had a lot of folks where I've, you know, listed up my videos and people have been like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Check out this video that I made about Alaska or, you know, whatever. And it's kind of hooked me into some things that I wouldn't have normally seen and got me a lot of engagement and interaction with folks that are interested in the same stuff that I am. So that kind of wraps up the Facebook's chunk of this. Um, so that's Facebook. So now let's move on to websites. So what are some good websites where you could go to just, you know, absolutely soak yourself in, okay, that sounds gross, to absolutely, you know, just inundate yourself with overlanding information. Um, the kind of the big two, which I've kind of already mentioned, are, you know, overland bound, which personally, I don't have any problem with Overland Bound. I don't have one of their stickers. I haven't become a member. I, I don't really, I get enough, I have so much information I can't even process it all anyways that I just haven't felt the need to become an Overland Bound member. If you do, it's great. I'd love to have one of those little tags. I think they're cool, but um, you can become a member. There is a paid subscription. It gets you some access to some additional content. It gets you some special features and things like that. So if that's your thing, definitely check it out. Um, but so they're kind of one of the big ones. And then one that's a little bit, less money driven I feel like but just as valuable from an information standpoint is Expedition Portal. Um, so if you google Ex Expedition Portal again that one has it's worldwide and it has a ton of traffic and a ton of people on it. It has vehicle specific forums built into it. It has 
regional forums built into it. So again, there you can meet people, you can learn a lot, you can learn about your area, you can learn about your vehicle. There's just a ton of great information that you can get from that. And again, it's less like, hey, you need to be a member to really get all this stuff. It's just like, hey, we're all here. We all like this same thing. We all want to do overlanding. Let's talk about it. Um, so that's another good one. Um, vehicle specific forums. So similar to what I mentioned in the Facebook group, you know, if you can find a Facebook group around your vehicle, that's a great way to go. There are forums for that too. Um, so if you want to kind of just not have so much in your feed, if you're trying to keep your Facebook clean, if you're not a Facebook person, you're not on Facebook, um, definitely just look for, you know, go and Google, you know, Nissan Xterra comma forum and see what comes up or, you know, Toyota 4Runner overlanding comma forum, whatever, you know, you can look up what you're interested in, in, in your vehicle, and then you can get on one of those forums and just kind of lurk around and learn as much as you want. Um, so that's another great sort of website way to look for things, look for forums. Um, and then another one that, that I've kind of looked at quite a bit, and they've kind of come on the scene through Overlanding USA, um, is a, it's like a family and a full-time adventure. And their, their page is called Jeepsies, like kind of like Gypsies, but with a Jeep in the beginning. So G J E E P S I E S. If you just Google Jeepsies comma Overlanding, I'm sure you'll find them again. I'll put a link down below to their website. Um, but it's like a husband and wife and their kids and they literally, they don't have a house. They travel around and they literally overland every day. And it's just really interesting. They do great reviews. Um, they're super nice folks. They're on overlanding, uh, USA, like I mentioned all the time. So, you know, I've just seen them a lot. They produce a lot of content because they do that full time. And it's, so it's a pretty neat thing to see. So their website's good too. And then of course, if you don't already know, if you follow me on YouTube or you just listen to the podcast, I have a website too. Um, I probably need to put some new articles up on it here recently. I, it's, I've been pretty good about putting content up on there. I've got a ton of stuff on there, but allthingsoverlanding.com is my website. Um, again, from there, it will link out to my Facebook, my Instagram, my YouTube, you know, all this stuff. So if you follow me on one place and not on others, and you just kind of want to get more of the feed, if you will, definitely consider going there and checking that out. Um, here in the future too, I've, I've been sort of taking some of these videos and sort of transcribing them into articles on the website too. So if you're more of a reader and you want to check it out that way, definitely check out allthingsoverlanding.com and shameless plug there. So that's websites. Okay. And again, there are a ton of them. I know I'm missing a bunch of them. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys the highlights and I'm trying to keep it to about 20 minutes. So I'll put a list, a list down below. I may add some more in there if I think of some more after I get done recording this. Um, and if you have some, definitely comment below and let me know what websites you guys like. So finally, let's move on to YouTube. And this is my favorite place because, you know, overlanding is is a feeling. It's a it's more of an experience than anything else. And it's hard to get that from reading an article or, you know, talking to people on Facebook. Um, but on YouTube, you know, depending on the artful way that people make their videos, right? And I try in mine and, you know, these ones are kind of more of a straight on talking sort of approach but in the near future my plans are drone and definitely more and more and more trips so i'm going to be kind of moving to that but some of these that i'm going to list are guys that are exactly what i was just talking about right like kind of my heroes the people that make these just amazing beautiful videos with these huge panoramas and these gorgeous landscapes where they're going um those kind of those kind of things just get me amped up, right? Like they just get me like ready. They make me start planning new trips. They make me start thinking about places. Again, you can learn a ton. So like Kentucky Adventure Trail, I've probably watched a hundred different videos from people like Revere Overland is a good one. Um, the Ozarks down Tennessee way. There's a guy uh, Chad who does uh, Overland Addict, and that's another one. He has a website too, so you can check out his website. He's on YouTube. Again, I'll put links down below. Um, but like he covers a lot of stuff in the Ozarks. So when I want to look on, into these trips, just like the Kentucky Adventure Trail, sure, I went to the Facebook page. I engaged with people there. I talked to people there. But ultimately, I'm going back to YouTube, and I'm searching Kentucky Adventure Trail, Nada Tunnel, you know, Daniel Boone, country byway that I'm searching for that stuff. And then I'm watching those videos. Um, a lot of mine, because I'm in Indiana are focused on Hoosier national forest. So again, if you're a local type guy, Midwest type guy, specifically Indiana, Southern Indiana, even, but I mean, I'm all the way up in Northern, Northern Indy, uh, Indianapolis. Um, I make a lot of videos just about Hoosier National Forest. I try and share maps and things like that. So on the website, I've got some links that will take you to all my favorite camping spots and things like that. 
Um, so, you know, there are a ton of great content creators on YouTube. And so, again, don't let this list be the only people you check out. Just Google Overlanding. Google Overlanding Tacoma, Overlanding Forerunner, whatever you, you know, you're interested in. And you will find a million videos. But let me list a few of them off here. So, one of my personal heroes, um, he actually came on the scene after I was on the scene. But his stuff is just cool. And, um, and, I, and I appreciate the craft that he puts into it. Is Justin B. McBride. So, if you check him out. He has awesome stuff. He does reviews sort of similar to me. Um, he does a lot more trips than I do. He's, he's lucky. He gets to get out a lot more than I do. And he's out west, so he has some better vistas than I have. Um, but so definitely check out his stuff. Um, Expedition Overland is another one. They're one of the big boys. They're kind of the ones that do it full time as a job. And it kind of shows, right? Like they use pro equipment. They have like a whole vehicle out of four or five of them that go that just carries camera equipment and stuff like that. They have a team of people that shoot the the adventures. So, but they do great work and it's, it's definitely worth, you know, taking the time to check out their videos and they have full seasons of stuff on all these trips that they've done. So it's, it's really cool. Um, another one is Mountain State Overland. So they're kind of one of the, uh, not quite as big, I don't think, as Expedition Overland. I could be wrong, but I feel like they're not. And they engage with me on Instagram and stuff a lot. So I feel like they're more like a little bit more of the people, if you will. Like they're, they're actually out there like engaging with people and like active on social media channels and stuff like that. But they make really cool stuff too. So Mountain State Overland is another good one to check out. Um, another smaller guy who I've actually, guy and gal, who I've actually met in person and they are the sweetest, nicest people and they make awesome walkthrough videos, like super detailed, in depth. They spend a lot of time. They do great editing and their stuff is extremely helpful. They're Toyota people. So they've done Forerunner stuff, FJ Cruiser stuff, um, but they do a lot of general stuff that could apply for any vehicle. So it's definitely worth checking these guys out. They're way bigger than me, but um, they're called Wander Lost Overland. And again, I'll put a link down below, but husband, wife duo, they do really cool stuff. Um, so definitely check them out because their stuff's cool. Um, some of the bigger boys that aren't really overlanding, they're more camping related, but man, they have some cool stuff, some cool bushcraft stuff, some cool just camping stuff, um, is TA Outdoors. Um, he's like a British guy and he must own a lot of land or something. And he goes out and builds like Viking huts and, you know, pallet cabins and things like that. And it's super cool. But again, he's a super down to earth guy. He comments on things all the time and he's, he's just super cool. Um, I think he's over a million followers now and he still tries to comment on as many as he can. So TA Outdoors is a good one. Another one of those that's similar is Joe Robinette. He's a Canadian guy, I believe. Um, but he takes, he, man, he must have the nicest wife in the world because he must take a trip every week. And he's out in the, you know, two feet of snow on a snowmobile or a quad going out in the middle of nowhere with a, just a backpack for like three, four days. And it's super cool to see. Um, so definitely check him out. As I mentioned, Revere Overland, they're kind of a Midwest uh, staple. He's from a little bit south of me. Super nice guy. Um, great content, great drone shots. He gets to team up with like Overland Pioneers is another one and a couple other guys and gals from down there. Um, and they do super cool videos and they produce a lot of content and it's really good content. And he started getting in, into gear reviews and things like that too. So that's another good one. Um, the Whalen is a guy, I think he's out West from what I can tell. And he has a Raptor which is, you know, a little unusual in overlanding, but super cool. And he's done a great build. He must make some good money because he's got some really nice stuff on that truck. Um, but he makes some really interesting videos and, and has a great eye for videography. So definitely check him out. Um, you know, one of the big boys from uh, over, you know, overseas in Australia is four-wheel drive action. You've probably already heard of them. But man, they just have some epic hour, hour and a half videos of them like doing some crazy, you know, off-roading, overlanding, cool camping spots just doing cool stuff with some cool rigs you can't get over here. So definitely check them out. Um, four by Overland is another big one. Uh, I think he's a British guy or an Af South African guy. Um, but he's kind of one of the big staples. I, you know, personally, no offense if you're listening, which I'm sure you're not. Um, I find him a little bit boring from time to time, but there's still some great content in there. And um, so if you can kind of selectively pick and choose, you know, which videos you want to watch, there are some good ones in there for sure. Um, as I mentioned, Overland Addict, great guy, great videos, local-ish guy to me. Um, Northeast Adventure Company. These guys I randomly stumbled upon, and then I've been engaging with them a lot, just talking to them and like, watching their videos and and liking their videos and man they make such cool stuff they are like the baby expedition overland if you ask me like they their guy ben that does all their videography and everything and chris kind of leads helps you know they co-lead the tours and stuff they take some cool trips they've been up to canada they've been all through every place and their videos are just epic 
So definitely check them out as well. Um, Arkansas Overlanding, that's another one that I recently stumbled upon. I think he's actually friends with Overland Addict, with Chad. Um, that's kind of, he actually messaged me on Instagram, but super cool guy, great videos, tons of views on his videos. Like it's a, he does, has a TJ. So if you have a TJ specifically, you know, this is a great one for you because you're going to get a lot of TJ specific information. Um, you know, and then there's a million more. There, I could just go on and on and on. So I'm gonna list out everybody else that I, you know, maybe I'm not thinking of right now off the top of my head, but um, I'll list them all out below. Um, so you know, in summary, to kind of wrap this up because we're coming up on 20 minutes, there's tons and tons of resources out there. So there is no such thing as like a right or wrong answer. Like you have to check out Overland Bound and Expedition Portal, and if you don't, then you're an idiot and you're never gonna be an Overlander, right? Like. Who cares? Everybody's going to tell you basically the same information. Find the ones that you like. Find the ones that get you excited, that get you interested in overlanding, that get you interested in packing up your truck or SUV or car or whatever and getting out there each weekend and, and taking a trip, right? Um, so, you know, you can never have too much knowledge either. So that's another thing that I like is while I'm stuck here in the winter and it's raining and it's gross and I, you know, I have to do work stuff and I have to, you know, do around the house stuff and decorate for Christmas and all that sort of stuff, um, at night, I can still go and I can watch YouTube videos and I can live vicariously through other people, right? So definitely check out all that the content. Like I said, I'm going to put a list down below for you guys. Please, 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 if you made it this far, comment down below if you have some favorite channels that I didn't mention. Um, just so everybody can kind of share them. I'd love for this to be a, a conversational sort of video where everybody just jumps in and kind of says, oh, don't forget about these guys. Hey, check these guys out. Hey, I have a channel. Here's a link to mine. Um, definitely feel free to you know post up your, your links to your channels below too. And I'm happy to follow you guys and have you follow me back so that we can you know all learn from each other. So again, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Um, I did want to give you a sort of a heads up on the next episode, the next week's podcast slash vlog. I'm going to be giving some seasonal tips. So I'm going to be talking about ideas for gifts for overlanders. So I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up, get you excited about that, and also let you know, because I know it's just about to be the end of November slash beginning of December, um, that that one's coming. So I already do have an old, old article that I wrote, maybe one of the first ones on my website from years ago. So if you want to look at that, it's pretty funny because it's like flashlights and it's like <laughs> shovels, like you know, that sort of stuff. So I tried my best back then, but I feel like I've, I've grown a lot since then. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better and I can fill 20 minutes with like some good, cool stuff that you maybe not everybody's heard about. So anyways, thanks again for listening, guys. Get out there, live, learn, discover. Um, comment down below. Let me know about your favorite channels and stuff. Let me know what you thought about the video. Um, have a good week. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll be back next week, and we can chat again. So thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.